Hey everybody, Joey Bully here. The Joey Just back with the Walking Dead Rose 5 video. Featuring the next human shield to the game. William, with no last name, the Faceless 4. William William Bobillium Banana Nana. Since William is a human shield, let's compare him with other human shields. Ranked from highest to lowest defense, William is at the bottom. Also, William doesn't hold the highest HP stat either, but these are not bad stats for a tank survivor. 1600 attack stat puts him the third highest attack stat human shield, which isn't that big of a deal considering he will not be attacking for the greater majority of the battle. Moving over to his character card, his special skill is human shield, forcing the other team to attack you unless they have focus applied to them. His AR is Garden Strengthen, which will give two enemies AP because that attack stat is <laughs> going to be dookie, and I don't see it killing anyone. But William will give himself and two other teammates 55% defense for two turns and give bonus HP. This is a better version of Koa, as Koa just heals himself with his Adrenaline Rush, while William will also buff defenses and heal for bonus HP to himself and two other teammates. What makes William even more useful is his active. I personally would have preferred Taunt and Elusive, but this active really makes me think William was designed to be used for attack. Turn 3 is pretty much when the enemy pops off adrenaline rushes, so in the case it wouldn't be good to use William's human shield, we can apply a stun to 3. At turn 3, you should have killed at least one enemy, making the stun to 3 for one turn a really nice adrenaline rush stagger, so the enemy will then use their adrenaline rushes turn 4. William Spear comes tanky with high sustain. If you don't have a disarmor or someone who can stun, then your life is going to take a turn for the worst, and you're probably going to be running into that dark hallway of the abyss where you just want to break everything and anything around you. So, you may find yourself soon going outside so you don't break your phone or tablet. If it had AP down, that isn't too bad as the damage is already done, but if you heal HP back after being attacked with a 50% defense buff just from human shielding, then there is a good chance you can heal for more than the damage done. As for the stats themselves, I would run a 40% defense, 30% HP, and keep the 20% on his weapon. Do I also think AP down can be an option as well? Absolutely. I also think of it as, just say hypothetically, he is the last one remaining. Would you prefer him to gain 20% HP when being attacked to keep him going, or apply AP down to slow down ARs? Which one of these do you think would buy you the most time? Combat mods will be tanky. We will want a health set if we are keeping the special weapon mod, as we will want to reach a high max HP to make the 20% heal on his weapon heal for more. Defense combat mod, so we can get an HP and defense combo for human shields to prevent burst damage, burn, and bleeds from taking him out turn one. Defense first red for trait disadvantages. Stun resist so that a special weapon mod keeps working. Graze to slow the roll of damage, from basic attacks and for double attack blues, whether it's a hit from a basic attack or a double hitting AR. The last wild card, I would go with defense down resist or HP. I wouldn't go with confuse or taunt resist at this point, since we can put a focus giving survivor with William so we can branch out to more individual utility. Going HP is more global in stats, and the self sustained proc from the 20% HP gained when being attacked weapon will make that higher. In the case the enemy doesn't have a disarmor or stun, I can see them bringing in defense down survivors, or someone with heal reduction to combat this special weapon mod. Either they lower your defenses to outmatch the heal, or they just apply healing reduction so William gets 0 or 50% gains from gaining HP. Whichever you have laying around or feel comfortable with, I would go with that route. Team comps will be two attack teams and two defense teams. First attack team will be a green Abes and ham leader, so we can get an attack and crit for our basic attacks and anyone who has a double attack adrenaline rush. Next up will be William, as we will be making this a glass cannon team, so we will want to funnel or pipeline all the damage to William, which is fine as his weapon allows him to stay in the battle longer. Since we are attacking, we will want some control when turn 2 comes around, in case there is a command on the enemy team. So we bring in Shiva for her damage roll and that turn 2 stun active. Since we're using an attack and crit leadership, we bring in Bruce for the 4th spot so we can not only hit harder and harder more often, but we will help in proccing his disarming for when he crits. Waylon to seal the deal forever on whoever you're attacking. His adrenaline rush to turn them into a silhouette, and if he didn't kill someone, they will have 100% heal reduction, so you know who your next target to smash will be. And no, it's not Becky. Let me smash, please. No, Ron. Second attack team is a Mirabeau leader, and we will sacrifice the crit for some HP. We will still pipeline all the damage to William while building this team a glass cannon. The health leadership stat from Mirabil will help out when multi-hitting adrenaline rushes are used on William. Since we lost a crit leadership skill, 
I want to help this team out in more kill control, so I choose Connor for his team-wide attack and defense down debuff. This will not only help William and the team stay alive longer, but the lower defenses to the enemy makes me choose Alpha for the next survivor. These are two good combinations to use so long as you can keep them alive since Alpha has paper-thin defenses. To give this team some crowd control till turn 4, where all the ARs will be unleashed, we will use Romanoff for his turn 3 taunt to 3 active. This will help him push out more damage with Berserking Stacks and when the enemy has defense down. First defense team, we rock a Gabriel Leader for his team sustain and revive centric abilities. William for damage control so that his reviving and sustain allies are not taken out. Gabriel will be nice to remove any crown control abilities, but we double dip in this with bringing in Yvette. Since we will more than likely be stacked with stun resist for combat mods, we will be susceptible to confuse and taunts so Yvette's focus will take care of that along with Gabriel creating a more stressful defense for your attacker. The last two spots will be where we take up arms for more offense. Harper will disarm and will also have a stun on attack weapon, and her lowering defenses can result in this tanky team getting a kill easier, and her lowering attack will help keep her team alive longer. Here is for our last spot, as if the attackers want to focus the healers and revives first, then they will need to deal with the super tanky, high self-sustain, stunning, taunting, high damage survivor with hold the line. If Harper is still alive at this point and she lowers defenses for a hold the line Eris to use her adrenaline rush on, then she will probably delete three people. To the last defense team, we will go with AP when taking damage setup with Dante, as I feel people underestimate AP when taking damage. Any of those survivors you decide to finger blast at the start and you don't kill, impair, or stun, you're looking at a potential quick loss, because they're going to be firing back their adrenaline rushes right after. Dante and Garrett being commanded turn 2 can cause some issues as applying bonus HP and taunting 3 to Garrett to potentially impair them is really strong. In the case it's Dante, having a heal to 3 and defense up to 3 is going to make the person that you were just trying to kill that much harder and you're probably not going to kill them either. In the case Regan uses Adrenaline Rush, we will get a very nice amount of maim damage which does give the enemy AP compared to burn and bleeds which don't and some heavy anal bleeding to follow for his last raider. Regan will have some tankiness to him with a nice confused when taking damage weapon that if it procs a lot early, then this defense team will have no problem staying alive in the early game. As Garrett's going to apply the bonus HP, William will also apply defenses and bonus HP, and Dante will apply revives, heals, and high defensive buffs as well. And there you have it, folks, that's going to wrap up video of William William Bobillion Banana Nana Bobillion. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, link positive. Please give a nice comment, drop a like, subscribe button, make sure you leave a comment down below. We support greatly appreciate it. And on that, I'll catch you on the next video.